Hello everybody and thanks for joining me today. So today I'm going to show you or teach you picture in picture. It's a pretty cool thing. It allows you to bring a clip in in your overlay track and then do whatever it is that you wish to do with it. Make it grow in size as it moves along your timeline. Create a nice border around it. Hey, whatever it is you want to do with it, it can all be done with picture in picture. Okay, let's get going. So I'm going to use a still in my main track and then I'm going to bring in a little footage of a couple of dudes working out. I'm just going to split the audio because it's not really required for this tutorial. Okay, so let's find the picture in picture filter, so FX. Now you can um, have a wall and look for it if you wish and it's here. Or it's also in your folder, New Blue Video Essentials 2. And there it is there. Just click and drag it onto your footage. All right, so now we have picture in picture. Filter applied to our overlay picture. But now we have this black border, so we must get rid of that. So double click, and we're going to mask it out. So mask and chroma key. Apply overlay. Now, since we're trying to get rid of black, make sure you highlight black. Now footage is still uh, very transparent that's because our color adjustment is very high it's set at 70 so we, we don't want to uh, adjust any color so we bring that right down and that brings our footage back to 100 percent it is that simple right click and then fit the screen so now we're good to go well, we don't need this anymore so as you can see now it's in my filter list and I'm going to go to Customs Filter. So now I'm going to customize what it is that I wish to do with this picture. So let's say you wish to have this picture flipping around on the screen. Now you can do a couple of things here. You can also go through this list here and then choose the effect that you're looking for. So here's upside down. So if I double click on this, yeah, all the presets in this will have then apply to that clip. If you go to P, it's also here. So but this gives you a, a quick preview of what it does. So it's kind of cool. Uh, but what is it we're trying to do? Well, we're trying to rotate the clip, remember? So here's the clip now. And currently, it will do absolutely nothing because I have not given it any commands. How do we apply a command? Very simple. We use keyframes. Keyframes is basically uh, a command in your timeline that says you need to do this at this particular point in my time frame. So let's go back. All right, so as this clip moves along, uh, and you say, oh, right about here, well, I really need that picture to be, you know, over here. That's okay. You have two options to preview your project preview so you know exactly what's going on and then you also got your preview window and that allows you to work within this black box so you're not going out of the screen and this here is your picture window that square represents your picture so you wish this picture to be over here then just click drag your footage to the, to the position you want okay and yeah that's where I wanted release. Now, as you will see, it has now created a keyframe. So basically, from that point to this point, you have told the picture I need to move from here to here. So if I go back to the start and press play, you will see exactly what I mean. And now moves to that position. Okay, it's cool. All right. Let's go back to the beginning. Uh, I'm actually going to delete this uh, keyframe. To delete the keyframe is very simple. You can use this. Uh, it basically will move your timeline to the left, the last keyframe on the left, or the last keyframe on the right. And then you use this here as your delete keyframe. So let's go back to the beginning. Like I said, we have presets as well. So I'm going to use the upside down double click. And this will now apply all the presets 
it came with upside down. So if I now press play, it will do exactly what it should be doing, and that is flipping my picture. That's pretty cool, but you, <coughs> oh, excuse me, you still have complete control. If I go back to the screen, and if I start keeping an eye on all my settings, size, crop, opacity, rotate, Y, Z, and X axis, if I move or play, I can see what it's doing. So it's uh, decreasing in size as it moves. It's rotating on the Z axis as it moves. It's, it, you can see exactly what your footage is doing. And at any point in time, you go, you know what, I need this uh, slightly bigger or smaller. Stop your footage and then just decrease or increase whatever it is that you wish to do with that footage. This then creates that keyframe again because you have now altered the preset in the uh, preset given by picture in picture and then off you go again. And it is that simple. So these are all your settings that you can play with and from there you can have a ton of fun. Okay, it is that simple. As always, thanks for watching.